you amazing person watching this video or amazing people if you're in a group or if you're a couple thank you so so much for pressing play and thank you for joining me today this is fridays with faith and i am faith my name is zetimbi so faith mwami and we just like to say from Exxon and I, from the bottom of our hearts, because we are one, we appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for sharing our videos and for commenting. And if this is the first time that you are here, please subscribe, share the video, comment, tell us what you think. <laughs> Because we know that you're going to be back here again. So please just do the right thing, guys. Please just show us some love. Subscribe, comment, tell your friends about, about our channel. And just share the video. Anyway, guys, as I've said, my name is Asimbi Sofei Kumwami. And today I want to speak about something. You know, guys, this is the third time we're doing this video. So I hope this is the last time and we will finally reach wherever you are. <laughs> I want to talk about something that that happened to me and I just thought that it would be amazing for, for, for me to share this and also maybe help other people as well. So it was actually in the middle of my grade 9. So, that, so I want to talk about how I dropped out of college or how I dropped out of high school. Yes, Lord. How I dropped out of high school. I know guys, I don't look like a dropout, but believe you me, this girl is a dropout. Dropouts, girl. Dropouts. So I was doing my grade nine, and in the middle of my grade nine, yeah, my parents called me. Okay, the Tim is like, can you please have a conversation with you? I was like, oh my goodness, I've never had one of those. I hope it's not one of those, um, girl. Just when you when you plan on having sex, make sure. <laughs> Not that, not that my parents had those conversations with me, but I just thought maybe, you know, it's going to be one of those. But anyway, so they called me and they told me, um, okay, my dad, yes, my dad started. Um, we, we can no longer help with your, we can no longer pay your school fees up until you reach grade 12. And we can no longer help you with your university fees. How girls guide. Kanti, like what? What's happening? <laughs> you got. So what must I do now? What? What must the girl do? All right. So you're gonna have to drop out of high school. You're gonna just do your grade nine and drop out. Hey, mama, mama, and then what? What's gonna happen after that? All right. Alternatively, I found another school for you. Not school, but college. Okay, college. Yes. The, uh, it's called um, an FET college. In those times, the TVET colleges of now. It, um, the technical vocational education and training colleges are now called the, the they were called the further further education and training colleges so you will go there drop out of grade nine do grade um do grade uh do level two which is equivalent to grade 10 level three which is equivalent to grade 11 and level four which is equivalent to matric grade 12. okay um so i'm gonna drop out go to that college yes and it's easier for you because you won't have, we won't have to pay any fees for you and you'll be living with your grandma in KZN. Guys, you know, Ne, I was just so crushed because it wasn't, it wasn't something that I really wanted to do. I was really disappointed at my parents because, um, you know, I had dreams. As any other young girl growing up, you know, I had dreams. I wanted to major in literature. I wanted to be this writer and, you know, I just wanted to be this well-spoken um, girl that can really write good uh, English and uh, that can really speak good English. I, I loved, I loved speaking and I loved writing and I wanted to major in those. <sighs> and I also wanted to do acting and singing because they are my first love. And you know, I just thought maybe uh, after high school I'm going to try and do that. But then now my dreams are crushed. My dad told me, we've even found an amazing course for you to do. Wow, how convenient. You are going to be doing information technology and computer science in this um, in this new level uh, program that has been that, that the Department of Education has come up with. Okay, um, the promise is my went to the IT and computer science, so you'll be studying uh, uh, with practicals as well as a theory. So after that, you'll be able to get a job. Oh, really? Yes. 
I don't, I really don't want a job. I just really want to finish high school and do something that I love. But you don't have a choice, girl. You, you don't have a choice. We have got church. The side they were, they were really concentrated on church because they were leading a church at that time. So they were really concentrated on that. They were really vested and they were investing a lot on church. Um, a lot of their money and everything, a lot of their time. So I could not carry on. I could not, they could not help me any further. And then right after that, okay, I just, I just didn't have a choice. I had to say no. And I felt like my dreams were just crushed. And I think that's when really um, the mental issues started settling in and, and everything. You know, so after that, I went to Marisburg. I moved. I moved. I, I, I moved to, to Marisburg. Guys, my husband is disturbing me. <laughs> okay, this is revenge. Okay. I'm, okay. I hope. Okay, yes, and I moved to <laughs> to Maritzburg. Um, and then when I arrived there, guys, I was actually the youngest in the class, actually in the whole school, because those were like 20 year olds, 20 upwards, up until 25. And guys, imagine I was just 15, yeah, 15, turning 16, 15 years, turning 16 years old. And I was in this place that I was so foreign to, and oh my goodness, man, there are old people here. I felt so detached from the whole situation. And I mean, coming coming from high school, if any of my previous classmates from high school know, I wasn't really popular and it wasn't really boring. I was just in between, I guess, you know. So it was really hard for me to, to, to put myself in and fit and fit myself there in the in the picture, you know. So coming into this place, I don't even know who to talk to. I can't even relate to anybody. Gosh, who am I? What am I gonna do? Whoa, 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 whoa all these police sirens in my head going out and the other thing guys which was just really really bad i didn't have clothes hey, but, but it, being my name back guys i mean monday to monday you know there there, there was just um, you would just wear cities your clothes so i didn't have any clothes i was really like i had about three or four outfits that i mixed together and you know whatever i could come up with and it was really hectic especially in winter no pants guys so yes it was a struggle i don't want to go back to those days lord help me i don't want to go back anyway um so this there's this other day and that's when really my confidence levels really just crashed and they and instead of me building on this hurt you know i couldn't make i couldn't make the the best out of the situation and then all of a sudden you know i was wearing these shoes all pumped up my mother and my pam said jet hey guys you know those days my mom bought me pants i was like yes i've got this i'm looking good i'm looking beautiful <laughs> guys i came with those pants that girl <laughs> there's this girl who's my classmate hey she, she shouted she was like hey wena Yo, guys, you know, after that, all I heard was a loud roar of laughter. How you know this girl, mother, how, how could she say that? You know, like, and you just become, and you just become a nasty little girl and lost as a nasty old woman because she was old, a nasty old young woman. No, 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 don't do that. But she did it. And really, that's when. That's when, you know, that, that's when matters just became worse. And I started having this vacuum inside of me, looking for love, looking for acceptance, looking for, 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 for a place where I could feel at home and a place where I could feel that I am accepted and I am loved. And it was in those teenagers, because even in, you know, when, when you're a teenager, um, you, you do look for those things, but it makes matters even worse when you are... When, 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 when you are in a foreign land and you are trying to just find yourself and you haven't even found yourself, which is why I always advise, you know, when I'm speaking to parents, I'm not a parent yet, um, but it's important that you speak to your child, especially in those years, become friends with your child because your child is looking for a safe space. She is looking for a place, he or she is looking for a place where she can be accepted and where she can be loved. And in those days, I mean, my parents were not as present as I would have loved them to be, you know, um, because of course they had other commitments in church, they had, they had other, other commitments. But that is when I really just lost track and, 
and and a lot of things happened in those years that affected me so much of course i cannot speak about all of them in this one video but i you know that's when my mindset changed that's when my 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 outlook on life changed and i became a different person because i was a really happy child growing up but right there and then you know the happiness just faded because i was so sad you know i was just i just became really sad i didn't have clothes i didn't have this i didn't have that and i, I just looked for acceptance in the wrong places i looked for love in the wrong places and it that that really put me put me under jeopardy and you know i things happened but thank god that i'm here so the, the lessons that i have really really learned throughout those years you know what what i want to really advise you know sometimes the parts that 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 we get into are not parts that we've chosen but we must stay in that path and make the best out of every situation it's difficult guys but when you are when you are faced with a predicament when you are faced with something that you can't really get out of you know, find an, an alternative that will make you better. You know, I, I look back and I, I, I see things that I, I, I could have been grateful for and that could have made my journey and my time there at that college even better. But I did not use that opportunity and, and I, I concentrated too much on the bad that was happening that I lost track of the good things that were really coming my way. And number two, guys, you know, I, I wish that I had taken care of my mental health in those years. Although I was really critically affected by, by everything that was happening, you know, I was affected by, you know, just this major change that was happening, right? But, you know, I, I could have really taken care of my mental health. So you guys are asking me, what happened then after level four? What happened after level four is amazing, guys. You know, I, I stayed at home for like two years without finding a job as promised. But by the grace of God, I found a job. I started as a as a as a casualty, hundred rands a day at a college, you know, helping out to student support and bursaries and everything. And then right after that I got an internship. I started earning with my three three thousand, you know, for about a year or so. And then post came out um, in that department that I was working at. And then I also applied and I got a clerical position and then I started getting paid more. Yeah, yeah, more. But I won't tell you how much, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then straight after that I stayed for like I think two or three years in that position and then another job opportunity came by and which is what I'm doing currently which is much better than, than what I was earning in the previous job I had and you know in that part in everything that had happened you know I made my husband you know things orchestrated themselves and I found God you know um, I was a pastor's kid but in those dark years and even after those dark years, I, I really grew to knowing God even more and and that's when I found my identity in Christ. That's where that's where I found that's where I found um power, power in him. After all of these things had actually messed up my mentality and my mind. And I was this and I, I came back I came back to becoming myself again and more than anything you know um i know that i wouldn't have been the woman i am today if i had not encountered that you know i will speak about all of the things that i went through in those years but i am glad Uti, it has brought me up until this far i'm 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 really a better person you know and i'm not where i really want to be of course we've got visions we've got dreams you know and we've got things that we want to do and I know that I'm not there, but I'm grateful for this path. I'm grateful for this journey, and I'll make the most of it. You know, I'm doing, I'm doing most, most of the things that I can to improve myself and to be the better person. And maybe one day you'll see me singing somewhere. You know, maybe one day you'll see me acting somewhere. I mean, who knows? I mean, I mean, anything might happen right now. I'm so, <laughs> I'm open to those opportunities, to those opportunities now, and I've opened myself to just accept and to just love wholly and fully and be grateful and with my studies actually things went well as well after that i went on and i did my end course my report for nine months in business management and then after that i did my undergraduate degree at the management college of south africa i did my honors degree as well i completed last year and now i am doing my master's degree yeah I'm a master's degree student, guys. You know, 
from, from high school dropout to master's degree student. And I wouldn't have, have been able to do that if I didn't walk the path I walked. So in my next video, I'll be speaking to Mrs. Portia Mange. She is the CEO of Hat Sibane Tibet College and she will just share more of of the TVET system and how it really works because it was beneficial to me and I'm sure you know it will be beneficial to, to, to others as well and I'd love to really share that information. You don't need to sit at home, you know, let's do this, let us plan and simple to see them right, although it's the thing I had to say, in fun or is a Caesar, you know, in fun or is a Caesar, and more than anything, just find that hope inside of you to push forward whatever situation you are going through it is for a purpose and if you keep on believing that you will come out there you will really come out there as pure 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 gold so please guys catch me next time i was speaking to mrs Porsche mange and we will be chatting about the tv system and what programs are available and things that you might also be interested in um actually also my husband is also a tv graduate guys so so it runs in the family this thing <laughs> so make sure that you tune in next time guys and check out my husband's videos as well on mondays and our videos that we'll be posting on wednesdays but we'll be posting even more consistently these days thank you thank you so much guys we love you thank you for the love thank you for the support you guys are awesome 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 please subscribe just 